Hey guys, today we're going to be turning on and off a light with a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, a relay, a mobile phone, and a 12 volt LED color changing light setup. An important part of this project is the ability to control the light when not stood in front of it. So what I've got here is a one channel relay and a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. What I've done is I've set this up, there's two dongles here, one of them is the internet, or it's a Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, it's an 802.11n dongle that I just got on eBay. Now, some of you guys have asked me which dongle I buy or which ones work. The truth is it's very difficult to determine it. I suggest you look on uh, the eLinux page to figure out which ones are compatible. Let's talk about this relay. So this is a one channel relay, and if you've watched any of my how to set up a relay videos, you'll know how I set that up. You can find those links on screen now. And what I've done is I've taken the basis of another project, my garage door relay, and I've set that up here so that I can use it as the basis of this project. So what I've done, I've set up an Apache server on the uh, Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, that Apache server I can access via my phone. So just getting to my phone here, what I've done is I've created a PHP document that has just two functions, light on and light off. So check it out. I press light on and the relay switch is on. I press light off and the light goes off. So now I'll be able to control this light from wherever I am. And even better, as this Raspberry Pi is actually part of my alarm clock project, I'll now be able to turn on the light in the morning when my alarm clock goes off. All right, guys, let's talk about the LED light system that I'm going to be using. So I bought this on eBay. Uh, it's a 12 volt lighting strip uh, that we've got here. So you can see it's a 50 by 50. That's what the size of the LEDs are. Uh, I think it's a uh, 0.5 mils by, or sorry, 0.5 centimeters by 0.5 centimeters. Or, uh, there you go, you can see those now. And it comes with this uh, controller box. Now, what that controller box does is it's got a little IR sensor there. And that IR sensor works with the remote so that we can control the colors and the setup that we want to use. Uh, as we go through this. So I'll just plug it in here and you can have a look there at how it works. You can see I've got it on a color shifting program at the minute uh, and that'll just continue to cycle through uh, all the amazing colors. Now I have tested this and we have really good news about it. This remembers what the last setting was. So what I'm able to do is using another couple of components that I got on eBay. Uh, these are male and female connectors. Uh, what I'm able to do is I'm able to interrupt this signal here and put that on that side with my terminals and put this on this side with my terminals. And now what I'll do is I will connect those two uh, with some wire I've got. In fact, I've got that wire just here. Here it is, now using a plus minus, what I'll do is I'll connect those two and interrupt them with the relay. So let me do that now. So I'm just uh, just cutting these, these wires here. So there's my black, which will be my negative, uh, and I'll line that up uh, there to there. Uh, but I wanted my red or live to be a little bit longer just so I can cut it in the middle and have a couple little bends in it. Uh, Go here, uh -uh. and then I'm really fortunate to have a lovely wire stripper, an automatic wire stripper. So let me just grab this. All right, so first let's set up the negative side, the black side terminal. So we'll just do that, negative to negative. Beautiful, okay. 
So I've done the black side. Now for the red side. The red side, what we're going to do is connect one half to the positive side into the relay and the other side, the other side also into the relay. All right, so let's just focus in on the relay here. Now the relay up at the front, and this is a side I've never shown before, because I don't want anybody playing with mains. You'll notice here that we're doing this with a 12 volt system. Again, that's 12 volt. That's why it's safe to do this. But let's just focus in here on the relay. You can see at the front that there's kind of some pictures. That describes whether this relay is normally on or normally off. So what you can see here is that little middle arrow is pointed to the one on the right. That means that when the relay is off, if you connected one wire to this one and one wire to this one, when the relay is off, the connection will be, will be there. It will be connected. If you connected the, this side, the left side, and the middle, when the relay is off, there will be a space between these connections and the relay or the, the connection will be off. Okay, so let's just, exp let's just go over that again. So what happens is if your light, you want the normal state of your light to be on, and then when the relay triggers, the light switches off, then you would connect it on this side. If the normal state of the light is off and you want to, the relay to switch the light on, then you'd use this side, which is the side that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this on the left side. Just like the terminal wires, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm going to slot this in and make sure that the whole wire fits in and that there is no silver or copper wire exposed. You can see that, I'm happy with that. So I can tighten it down. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side here. I'm going to connect this. So I've connected it in there. Let's focus in. As you can see, can't see any wire. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to tie that down. All right, now what I'd like to do is get this to be about the same length. So let's do this. Is it worthy of Reddit forward slash r forward slash cable porn probably not but you can see exactly what's happened here it the signal will come in uh, one side uh, be interrupted by the relay and exit the other side or if i do it uh, this way which is the way that i have it set up here you can see exactly how it works what we'll do is connect this to this side and this to this side and because i've correctly set the relay you'll see that it's normally off. We are what you would call normal state. We are normally off. All right, so what I'll do now, I'll just uh, plug that into the Raspberry Pi and control the light using it. Now just as the Raspberry Pi is firing up here, I'd just like to remind you, this is a 12 volt system. Do not play with mains. Okay, hopefully this will be powered up. It's time to connect here and here. Again, we're in our normally off state. And what I'll do is I'll just grab my mobile phone. light on and there's the LEDs lighting up. 
light off, and it's off. Cool, just one more time. Hang on. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment in the About section below, let me know any projects you guys might be up to. I'm always interested to hear. If you found this project interesting or useful in any way, please uh, buy me a coffee. You can do that by following the donate button in the about section below. Of course, you can find all the source code there as well. Uh, lots of other interesting things. And check in the comment section. A lot of people are saying pretty cool stuff on my other videos. One can only assume that's gonna happen here as well. And don't be afraid to share your project. It's always best when we create a little community around these videos. I'm interested to hear what you guys are up to, and so are the other viewers. Thanks again for sharing. Thanks again for stopping by. Hope to see you again next time.